Hello everybody, I'm Luis and let's talk about Revit 25, about macro, yep, a lot of things change and let's take a look, by default, uh, if you go in macro manager, uh, is macro is disabled, I'm pretty sure the last version was disabled as well, uh, so you need to go in macro security, you need to enable that, you need to make sure that we're doing and gonna run only trust code, so yeah, you need to allow that and you need to close Revit and open again to this to be enabled. Yeah, I already have a Revit open in here uh, that the macro is enabled. So let's take a look. Uh, if I go in here, uh, I have a lot of things change. Uh, by default, uh, you need to have Visual Studio Code installed in your machine to this true work. So you can uh, be, uh, create the project and run that in inside Visual Studio Code, yeah. Uh, I already have it installed in my machine and I already have Net, uh, Net SDK, SDK 8 installed in our machine, in my machine as well. If you not have that, it's gonna appear some warnings in here, something like this, yeah. And you need to install and do this stuff. So let's just take a look what's happening if I create a new uh, macro. So you only have C Sharp available yeah that's that's happening and i'm gonna create a, uh, my macro in here just to show what's gonna happen by default I'm gonna create the project and I'm gonna open my visual visual studio code in here i don't have all the extension to build this project so i'm gonna use my ide that i've used that is visual studio 22. so if i go in in this folder open here let's close that i don't need this i have this i'm gonna open this cs project and gonna open my visual studio and i'm gonna build using that and gonna work yep let's see uh what i have inside macro i have this uh i have this application so i'm gonna uncomment this this and build that and should appear in here in my macro yeah appear right now so if i double click should appear something in my console fine everything is working uh but that's annoying that i need to have i need to have uh visual studio code installed my machine because of this yeah, if I change that, I can change this. That's kind of interesting. So let's use that and trick your Revit to run my own code CMD to open Visual Studio or my or your favorite IDE. Anyway, so let's do that. Uh, if I go in here, let's close this. I'm gonna copy that uh, this file just to show what is inside uh let's find a folder in here just to show that's gonna be easy to uh ch change that have a, a simple folder in here let's open this and open that so uh this set some local variables and gonna uh, execute this code.xd and basically gonna open that folder with the macro in that with the, all the files of the macro in that so let's change this and instead let's force where's my my code that i'm using this let's update that and force to navigate for the directory and find this cs project and instart that file and gonna by default gonna try to open that with your id in your machine so yeah let's save this and I'm gonna copy this and put inside my Revit. Probably gonna be a good place that nobody gonna mess, only me. So I'm gonna copy to my Revit 25 folder because I know what I'm doing. And let's change this and replace this to this one. Yep. And let's press OK. And if I click in here to edit that file, uh, let's actually let's open a new one. Uh, macro. True. Yeah. So 
Uh, now is create the project using the .NET and gonna open is open in my other screen, but yeah, it's opening. And here's my project. Yeah, that's fun. And I can build this. Nothing gonna happen, but yeah. I need to add some some macro in here. Let's add something the same as before, the simple, and should appear in here. And yeah, now I have the simple. Hello world! Yeah, that's that's fine. Uh, one thing that I cannot do, kinda, uh, is debug this. Uh, I actually have uh, a plugin or extension to connect uh, my my Visual Studio with Revit. So I'm gonna enable that in here. This one. I'm gonna enable the event in that. And if I go in my Visual Studio and if I Rebuild that. This is gonna force to create a new DOL, and this is gonna enable macro. At least Rev is gonna force to enable this, enable debug actually, and because I get this uh, breakpoint. If I run that, let's go manager security. I could delete this if I want, but yeah, let's run this and should trigger my. And the point, yeah, it's triggering. Great, and yeah, I have this breakpoint debug and so on. That's fun. That is probably a better way to do it. At least Visual Studio is better than Visual Studio Code. Yeah, or C Sharp at least. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm gonna put all the uh, the basic code for this the code CMD in the description in some place. Yeah. And you can use that if you want. Yeah, I don't use macro anymore, but yeah, that's a thing you can do uh, now in Revit. One thing that interesting to show is that, let's stop this. Yeah, uh, that is using .NET 8 in here. That's other interesting configuration here. That's kind of fun. But yeah, that's it for this video. If you like that, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And see you. Bye bye.